All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Uh, it's been a little while since I've uploaded, but almost two weeks now. Um, I planned on doing an insanely, an insanely fun ice fishing video last week, um, but then we got hit with three feet of snow. It came out of nowhere, uh, so we couldn't, camp, we couldn't even get out of the house. Um, and now I wanted to do it this upcoming week, but we're getting hit with a warm spurt. So most of the ice is gonna melt. So hopefully we get either a cold front and it freezes again or everything, or the ponds start melting. Um, so in the meantime, I'm gonna continue getting, uh, getting my boat ready for the spring, which I intend on it being a huge season. Uh, so what I went ahead and did was order uh, some oar locks that I'm gonna install on the side of the boat as well as um, some rod holders. I think I got, I got two, one of them's back there. We've got two of these, gonna install them. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, again, gonna be, I'm gonna be wanting this boat a lot. Um, this is one of the first things I'm doing. Um, if you wanna go get some of these, I got them off Amazon. These were 13 bucks each, and then you got two of these for I think it was like nine or 10 bucks. So it's all cheap stuff and really easy to install. So we're gonna do that. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. All right, we're gonna start off um, by installing the oar holders uh, along the side of the boat. So I'm gonna install them so that the oar can stay together like this. I'm not gonna, really, I'm not gonna break it up into two parts. Um, it seems unnecessary to me. So I'm just gonna, Screw them in one right there and then one a little farther down and uh, that'll keep the oar kind of out of the way of all the tackle that's on the boat. Because I want the, the point of all this is to free up the sides here. It's difficult to like put like your different tackle boxes on the side if you know you have the oar, four or five rods, uh, you know, stuff like that. So it's just trying to clean up and keep more space for, you know, you know, take all your tackle out so you can quickly switch between stuff. So, uh... I'll do like a time lapse of me installing that and uh, cut to that right now. All right, so here we go. Install both of them. We have one on each end now, so person in front has one, person in the back has one. I split them up for that reason, in case for some reason the battery ever dies and we both need to row or something like that. Um, also think it looks pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to install the two or not or mounts, uh, rod holders. And I'm probably going to do it like on the opposite side, one there and then one there. That way you have this whole window to cast out onto. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll find, I'll see if there's some other spots I could do. But uh, yeah, we'll let you guys know. All right, what's up everybody? Uh, I took a few days in between uh, modding the boat up, but I'm back uh, in the shed. So what I decided to do for the, uh, the rod holders was put one on each side. Uh, it's gonna go in the same like area on both sides because it's symmetrical, you know, same thing. Uh, so I'm gonna put uh, them right here with the uh, like the middle, right in the middle. Uh, so that way it doesn't really affect any like casting abilities or anything like that. You can still cast out of both sides. Yeah, I didn't want to put them all on one side and make it difficult to cast off another. Just that kind of thing. So uh, I'm gonna install them right here, and uh, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Finished installing both of them. 
Uh, I can't fit my two rods in here right now though because the ceiling is too low in here. So, uh, but that's all right. I can show you what it looks like with one in there, but then also with uh, the net. So it holds the net too, which is great. Uh, another useful uh, addition to that. So I'm gonna keep on modding this boat. I really like it. I like how the uh, the rod holders look down there that you saw earlier, and then also these rod holders. It just makes it makes it so that the in like the inside, you know, like the um, like the storage area, we can like keep our uh, what do you call them? Like the tackle box containers out, you know, make it so that like you can switch between your stuff really easily. You don't have to be like digging through and taking everything out and putting it back in. Uh, it just frees up the space on the side and by that uh, underneath because that our tackle is actually underneath our feet all the time. So um, yeah, that's another great addition. Uh, I love how you can just keep adding stuff to this boat, you know, just quick drill stuff in, screw them in, boom, you're all done. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions, um, of what I should add to the boat, definitely let me know. Because right now, all I've got left really is changing the seats and then adding an anchor, which I should have done last year anyway. Um, so if you guys have any uh, suggestions, I'm happy to hear uh, what you've got to say, especially if you have a boat like this. Uh, I'd love to hear your suggestions and what you've done with your boats. So uh, with that, that's it for this episode. Um, hopefully some real fishing soon. Uh, although right now, literally as we we're as I'm filming this, uh, we're, we have a hailstorm. So I, I'm i done trying to guess New England weather. I've given that up completely. But I'll see you guys in the next episode, which uh, should be next week or so. So uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.